Hello, and welcome to the third installment of The Front Face. So, I want to start off just by saying that this video, unfortunately, I had kind of limited images and video footage of what we were doing. Uh, it's because, like, the last month, the month of November that I was out there in Taos, it was just really hectic. I had a lot of really good help, and it was a really hard, big push to get done. It was, like, seven days a week like sometimes 12 hours a day and I just had no time to get to a lot of videos so um, everything is here for the most part but I'm gonna you know, probably be doing a lot of talking while I'm uh, while there's some videos going on here just there's a lot in, in each shot that I can talk about so I'd like to get started with the uh, installation of the Veluxes uh, the Veluxes are skylights they're they're meant to be like on a on a roof, like a pitched roof. Here we use them on the front face of the of the airship. Um, they're operable windows um, that um, allow for ventilation and also as an emergency egress because they open up to 45 degrees. So here we are putting, we're like uh, mounting the Velux into the into the framed space here. So there's a dimension for the framed space that you gotta you get from the Velux manufacturer, and so you frame it out to that. And then you just put these brackets on each corner of the Velux and then just drop it right in there. And here we were just screwing those brackets into the framing to secure it. And now we're putting on the flashing kit that uh, protects the inside elements of the Velux from the elements of nature, the weather and stuff. Um, unfortunately, we had to make our own flashing to go around the outside of the Velux. You can see right there, uh, there's metal exposed and stuff. And there's also metal exposed on the top of the Velux. I uh, that all needed to be flashed as well, and I did not spend all the money to get the flashing kit for that. But um, instead, we just uh, broke some custom pieces of flashing, uh, the same stuff we're using on the rest of the front face and the house. Um, and unfortunately, I don't have any photos of that. I wish I did. Um, so here uh, is the Velux is uh, installed. Uh, they're complete. Uh, I just ordered some custom pane glass to go on top of the Velux. As you can see, there's like a 30 by 4 foot, sorry, 30 inch by 4 foot space there for uh, some glass. So here we're insulating the stem wall. That uh, that tire wall needs to get insulated. It's buried on the front, but it also needs to be insulated, or else you're going to have uh, cold temperature transferring through that wall and bond beam. Um, and going into the house. So we're just putting some 2 inch rigid foam insulation on the outside of that. Just cutting some notches because we had some concrete um, on the top of the stem wall that, uh, that was in the way of, it, of that insulation sitting flush. That black paper you see here is the asphalt felt, the same stuff we used up on the roof. Uh, it's a waterproof barrier and we're using that in front of that Trex framing that we came up from that plating up to the bottom of the windows. Um, on the other side of that, um, there's, a, there's a cavity of fr in the framing uh, behind that asphalt felt, and we just stuff that with uh, bat insulation. This image here illustrates how we used to put a vapor barrier over that asphalt felt, draped down over the entire stem wall, um, prepping for this whole front face uh, here to be flashed. Uh, we actually did uh, two layers of 6 mil uh, black plastic for this. Okay, flashing. So flashing, um, I used uh, two different types. I used a 29 gauge and a 24 gauge um, thick flashing. Uh, so flashing basically is a finish. It's like shingling um, the outside of your house or putting on vinyl siding. It is a weatherproof barrier that protects your, your home from the elements. So uh, with flashing, you basically get these flat sheet metal, uh, flat pieces of metal, and you need to break them, which just means bending them. So you need a metal break to do that. You can do it by hand, but trying like with a mallet and some pieces of wood and some clamps, but it's too much uh, for big pieces. So you gotta use what's called a metal break. Um, we were able to borrow one of those to, to bend these pieces of metal. So it's important to note that with flashing, whenever you're installing it, you're always shingling down. So a piece above always overlaps a piece below. You can see that's done here. And then every seam needs to be silicone. So you put that nice fat bead of silicone in there, 
and then press them together. And they're secured to the home with uh, pro panel screws, the same screws we used on the roof. Um, you want to run them those screws into uh, framing of the house. In this case, for the stem wall here, we're running those screws into that Trex, uh, that Trex framing. So next here, um, on the front, on the roof part of the front face, we flashed with a thicker gauge, with a 24 gauge metal. And these were in 10 foot long sections, uh, 4 feet wide, uh, to fit that uh, front face roof there. And just like on the, uh, the stem wall, we have that vapor barrier you can see there. That is uh, two layers of 6 mil black plastic. And here's just some photos of us uh, making progress across. And this is the finished product for the most part. That last piece, we had a damaged piece, so that's why that's missing. But we finished that up. And